yes! It's nearly complete. My creation! Finally! Antivirus! Take that, computer bugs! Alright, alright, cut it out. No one's pouring any liquids down any devices. If you want to clean an infected PC, we've got actual antiviruses made by experts. You know, people that have actual degrees. Now, go on, go home. So, where were we? Hey everyone, I really hope you enjoy these little skits that we put on for you. They take up approximately 99% of the budget. The other 1% goes to my starving wife and children. In today's video, you guessed it, we're going to be taking a look at the best solutions for cleaning up your PC. No! We're going to take a look at a few practical solutions that all of you sitting at home can use. From identifying red flags, running deep scans, rescanning, making a rescue disk, and if all else fails, doing a hard reset on your devices using powerful disk eraser tools. Let's begin. Have you ever opened up your browser only to be immediately redirected to an ad for a hair loss product? Have you ever seen unfamiliar applications cluttering your desktop? Sounds like your PC has a malware problem. Obviously, the symptoms of of malware issues aren't always as obvious. So before you take a dive into the deep end, it's important to recognize some of the primary characteristics of a malware infected PC. Red flag number one. The most glaring symptom of malware is slow performance. Granted, this could be due to other issues, but if you've got a pretty beefy PC that is suddenly acting like a geriatric pony, it's probably due to a virus. Red flag number two. You'll want to be on the lookout for random pop-up messages new desktop icons that you don't recognize, your fans spinning much faster, and general browser issues, such as being redirected to random pages other than the ones you're trying to visit. Even if you can't detect any of the issues we've just listed, it's possible that whatever malware your PC may be infected with is working incognito, operating in zero visibility conditions. So with that being said, it's a good idea to follow the other steps in this video anyway. Let's move on. So at this point, you should all be aware that we love antivirus software. Ah yes, is it my time now? No, damn it, why are you even still here? Anyway, as I was saying, we firmly believe that having strong antivirus software is a necessity for any responsible PC owner. So with that being said, if you don't have one already, we suggest that you get your hands on one right now. Norton Antivirus is our first choice. You can get your hands on one year's worth of protection for just $20. Follow our link in the description box below and whatever you do, do not try to download it from a third party website, or you may inadvertently download even more malware. Okay, got it? Great, let's move on. The next step would be to make sure that all of your antivirus software is fully updated. If you've just downloaded Norton, this shouldn't be a problem, but keep in mind that if your antivirus is even a day out of date, you run the risk of your PC becoming infected with malware. Additionally, for our Windows 10 and 11 users, you should already have a bare bones antivirus solution installed in the form of Microsoft Defender. It's not the best, but it's way better than nothing. Ensure that you check the Windows updater to ensure that you have the latest version installed. Next, run a full thorough scan. Whether you're using Norton or Bitdefender, which are our recommendations, by the way, or some other antivirus, make sure that you run it now and allow it to perform a complete scan of your device. This could take a while, so take this opportunity to go and make yourself a cup of tea or something. I'll join you, actually. What? Oh, you're back! Oh, so what does your antivirus say? It's done? That's great! Unfortunately, particularly canny bits of malware can sometimes get around your antivirus, so no matter how strong it is, if you think that may be the case, move on to the next step, which is reboot, scan, and rescan. Windows offers you a system restore point feature, which, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you can completely revert your system to a prior state of your choosing, but it requires a bit of forethought. Still, it may just do the trick if you're lucky. Take this opportunity to reset your PC now. Now you want to go to Windows Security, which can be found in your settings. Once you're there, be sure to set it to run periodic scans. Don't worry, these won't disrupt your gaming. I mean, uh, work. Now that Defender has been activated, go into the scan options and look for Microsoft Defender Offline Scan and check the little box next to it. This will initiate a reboot, then run a 15 minute scan, look for rootkits or other particularly stubborn bits of malware. But wait, even after that, you may still be infected. Remote Access Trojans, or RATs for short, are programs that allow people 
let's call them crypt, to access your PC remotely. These programs are good at flying under the radar, even after everything we've just done. So take a deep breath and disconnect your PC from the internet. Unplug the ethernet cable. That's the one with the little pincer on it. Then disable your router. Do everything you can to ensure that your PC is completely offline. Then run an antivirus scan again. If that didn't work either, enter safe mode on your PC and run the scan again. While you're in safe mode, be sure to delete any temporary files. Just type in disk cleanup in the start menu and it will take care of the rest. Now, if everything that we've said already hasn't helped, then your Windows may be compromised beyond usability at this point. Luckily, there are ways to get around this. Know what this is? This is my rescue drive. It's basically a rescue disk, an antivirus program that doesn't need your OS to function. All you have to do is plug it in and let it do the rest. To be extra safe, you should also run an on-demand antivirus scanner. These programs are different in that they don't scan your device automatically. They only work when you want them to. We recommend Norton Power Eraser for this. Link in the description box. Finally, if none of that works, it may be time to go nuclear. Norton Power Eraser gives you the option of, and I quote, erasing deeply embedded and difficult to detect crimeware that traditional virus scanning software doesn't detect. Yikes. Hopefully you won't need it, but if you do, be warned. Norton Power Eraser doesn't play around. It may flag some legit applications and files for removal. Still, it's better than having your PC infected, right? Additionally, it may be a good idea to format all of your drives and reinstall your OS, or you could perform a factory reset. Luckily, Windows Recovery lets you completely reset your device without losing any of your data, but you'll still have to reinstall your programs. We really hope that you won't have to try out these options, but desperate times call for desperate measures after all. Anyway, after all of that, your PC should be clean once more. And if it isn't, I forgot you existed for a moment and it was the best moment of my life. I've been Josh. You've been amazing. See you next time. This antivirus stuff is surprisingly good. Ah, clean.